phosphorus-30 and phosphorus-32 are radioisotopes. Phosphorus-30 decays by positron emission. Complete the equation in your answer booklet for the decay of phosphorus-30 by writing a notation for the missing product. Well, in this question, we are asked to complete the nuclear equation and to find the missing product. How do we do that? We will start by writing our parent atom, which is phosphorus-30. Let's go ahead and take a look here. The symbol for phosphorus is P. You can check on the periodic table of your reference table. On top of the symbol, we put the mass number, which is 30. So the number they give us after the name is the atomic mass. On the bottom, we put the atomic number. Atomic number can be found on your periodic table as well at the bottom, and the atomic number for, for phosphorus is 15. Let's go ahead and say that this is the mass and this is the atomic number, so we always remember where each one goes. Now it says that phosphorus 30 decays by positron emission. That means it is emitting a positron particle and a positron will be on the right side. Anytime you hear the word emission, the particle will be on the right side. If you do not know what the positron looks like, you can go ahead and check table O of the reference table and it has all of the nuclear particles. In this case, we can see that we have positron and the symbol for it is zero plus one E. We will put on the right hand side zero plus one E plus now we're just going to check for what is the missing uh, re what is the missing atom. How do we do that? So in order to do that, we're going to look at the mass numbers and the atomic numbers. Okay, what we need to know is that the top numbers on the left will be equal to the top numbers on the right, and the bottom numbers on the left will be equal to the bottom numbers on the right. On the left, I have 30. On the right, I have zero. So what number do I have to add to zero to get 30? Okay, this has to be 30. And now let's take care of the bottom numbers. On the left, I have 15. On the right, I have plus one. What number will go on the bottom here to, to, um, so that my left and right sides of the equations will be equal? That must be 14, because 14 plus 1 gives me 15. The last thing that we're supposed to do is we just simply have to look at the periodic table, and we need to look at what element has the atomic number of 15. Why do we look for atomic number? Because atomic number is like the social security of your element. Atomic mass can change. Different isotopes have different atomic mass, but the atomic number is the most important. So let's go ahead and check which one has the number 14. And it looks like it's silicon SI. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please subscribe, like, comment, ask me any questions, and I will see you in my next chemistry video.